The debris from yesterday's storm of protest was being swept away this morning. But the damage done to Hong Kong's seat of power is far greater than the broken windows and spray-painted slogans, which will soon be removed. Joshua Wong was recently released from prison for inciting pro-democracy protests. He blames the city's leader for this unprecedented level of unrest. People may not fully agree on what have done by young activists to storm into the Legislative Council building, but their passion and determination are even stronger than me, especially free activists have suicide due to Chinese and Hong Kong government suppression. I hope no one will be the fourth one, but that's the social tension generated by Carrie Lam. Hong Kong has never witnessed such a destructive demonstration and the sight of protesters running amok inside the Legislative Council building, vandalising the debating chamber, has led to the strongest of condemnations from China. The central government has called for zero tolerance and criminal action to be taken against those responsible. This pro-Beijing politician says the rule of law must be maintained. China doesn't have to, as it already has control over Hong Kong after the handover, but it chooses to run Hong Kong with Hong Kong people having autonomy, right? If you go into to, to, to yesterday's event, it is a, it's basically wanton vandalism because of no direction. This was the culmination of three weeks of action against an extradition bill with China. The leader of Hong Kong facing calls to resign by protesters who fear she is allowing Beijing to erode their freedom. The smashed up, graffitied facade of this building is one thing, but it's the defaced chamber inside that really shows the depth of anger felt by a young generation here in Hong Kong who fear their future will be under communist rule. The council complex will reopen tomorrow, but its authority has been shattered. Debbie Edward News at 10, Hong Kong.